morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. It's exactly 9.30 and I'm back in the car after coming home from the gym and getting put together a little bit because I'm heading down to Sorrento for the day. We're gonna catch up with one of the girls I used to work with. Let's see how long it's gonna take me to get down to Sorrento. Okay, it says it's gonna take me an hour and a half. I actually need to leave right now because I want to be there once MJ arrives. He is catching the ferry over from Queenscliff. So let's get started on the road trip. We have arrived in Sorrento and literally here with perfect timing, MJ's ferry has just arrived. So we're gonna wait a few minutes whilst the ferry docks and everyone gets off and then we'll finally get to see her. Alrighty, so I just realized I pretty much never actually filmed anything with MJ in it. After we'd walked around the shop and done a little bit of a walk along the beachfront, we went and found a spot for lunch and we hit up this place called Stringers. Of what we got, I'd say my favorite was the flatbed and cheese at the start. After that, MJ and I did another few laps of the town before she headed back home. Hello, I just got home from Sorrento. It's been a good few hours walking around and having some lunch with MJ, which was perfect. On my way home, I did stop off. I don't know where it actually was, but I saw a sign for TK Maxx and I wanted to stop off. Picked up a few things, so I'll quickly show you. Most of them were hair related. Starting with, I'm going with this little black bow from Sunday State. That was $6.99. Just wanted a little something I can throw in my hair when I'm not wearing a clip. Had a few clips break on me recently and I've been wanting to buy a few more. So I got this set of four from Hair Accessories for $6.99. This one specifically I wanted. I've had one like that for a while, but it broke recently. So I wanted a replacement. Just realized that these are basically the same. This one is the Illuminate brand from TK Maxx. And this was $9.99, but again, one more clips. And then I promise these are the last clips. This collection from Pro Beauty, just four very basic ones. I find that sometimes when I buy clips, they don't have enough. Sometimes they don't have enough like space to hold hair and I have really thick hair. So I was looking for something that had plenty of space effectively here. I'm hoping that they will be a winner. Then the last thing I got was a new set of bed sheets. Nothing too crazy. These ones were only $40 and allegedly they RRP for around $180. I'm hoping they'll be nice because we really needed some new ones. I think Luke will be home soon and we're just gonna organize some dinner and hang out tonight. I might leave it there for today and I will check in with you tomorrow. Hello, it's a few days later. Yesterday I caught up with Amavi for brunch. We went to a little cafe in Blackburn South called Peach, I think. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't a huge brunch spot as in they didn't have a very big menu or anything like that. But afterwards I went to 24 hour Kmart because that was just around the corner and I picked up a few things. So I thought I'd quickly show you. First I got this little knit. It is just a cute little pullover. I thought I could wear to work. I could also have it unbuttoned as a cardigan. I'm just so obsessed with this color, this bubble gum pink. So as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to take it home. Once I realized I liked the style, I went back and I picked up another color. This is just the same cardigan in like a tan. I feel like they're perfect for winter. The best part, other than how cute the colors are of these little like cardigan jumpers, is that they were $15 each. I really have nothing more to say. I honestly like, don't want to show this on here because they don't like to talk about my shoe size. But, but the next thing I got, I did grab these little like witchy boots for $30. And I just like that you can kind of scrunch down this top section so it's not just a fully structured boot. The last thing I got from Camel was just some cotton rounds. I realized when I did my nails a few days ago that I was running low, so I needed to top up. The other thing I grabbed this weekend, which I thought I'd share here, were these little pimple patches. I got these cute little Ross McColls that which are just adorable shapes. Just patches which I typically use also look like this. These are the TVH skincare ones. Probably can't see on here, but there are a few different sizes. So I'm a big fan, but these are on sale at Coles at the moment and when I saw the cute little shapes of these patches I thought I'd try them. I think these were about $4.50 for the 36 patch. Why is this rattling? The last thing I grabbed was these pimple patches which apparently have this like spiky indent with the idea being like sounds so gross and it almost like pop pops into that little pimple and hopefully stops it. I have not used this. I have no idea why it makes a shaky noise but we'll find out. These are a little bit more expensive. These were like $6.75 but I'm keen to see. I will let you know once I've tried those out. That's it for right now. It's gonna be a pretty chill day here. I'm just working at home today so I will catch up with you a little bit later. Hello. I'm back and probably in the same place as I was when you last saw me. I'm gonna be straight with you. This is probably one of my shortest and uneventful vlogs, but 
isn't that sometimes what life is anyway this week has been way more hectic than i thought it would be one, one thing i definitely need to remember when i'm organizing my work calendar is is to not overbook tuesdays and thursdays those are usually the days i'm in the office but if i overbook those days the rest of the week is just an absolute write-off because it's so hard to catch up on that note, I'm going to wrap up today's vlog here. Promise the next video we'll do something a bit more fun. The countdown is officially on because in about six weeks, Luke and I are going to Japan. We need to do a bit of research. We need to do a bit of planning. We definitely need to book some accommodation and some activities. So if you're interested in any of that and you want to see what adventures we get up to, stay tuned. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe. With that, I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye. Bye.